They get more protein out of it. So know your blood type, know how you, you know, approach things. And if you want to be a vegan, more power to it. I have to admit, even I was surprised to hear Charlie Kirk insinuate that our blood type factors into whether or not we can be healthy on a vegan diet. This idea was thoroughly debunked so long ago that it's literally the first blog article on my website. There's simply no good science supporting this dietary approach, which seems to be a common theme with best-selling books. In fact, independent researchers have gone on to test the hypothesis in multiple studies now, and cardiometabolic risk factors tend to improve on plant-predominant to plant-exclusive diets regardless of blood type. And on top of that, while there's some variability between demographics, type O is generally the most common blood type. And according to the blood type diet, those individuals should do best on a high protein, more meat heavy diet while limiting or eliminating grains, legumes, and dairy. While on the other hand, people with type A should do best on a more plant predominant diet. However, dietary patterns that are dominated by whole or minimally processed plant foods, including whole grains, with or without modest amounts of lean meats, are consistently associated with the best health outcomes across diverse populations. If those with the most common blood type should do better on a more meat-heavy diet while restricting things like grains and legumes, shouldn't we see that reflected in the research?